question of whether people can truly glimpse the future has fascinated humanity for centuries. Seers and prophets have shared their visions of things to come, often speaking of dramatic upheavals for humankind. Some believe 2024 was predicted to be a year of profound change and upheaval, marked by conflict and the potential collapse of powerful forces. One figure whose name often arises in these conversations is Nostradamus, the 16th century French astrologer. His cryptic writings continue to spark debate about their potential meanings. With the tumultuous predictions ascribed to 2023, many wonder what Nostradamus might have foreseen for 2024. Early life. History is filled with figures who claim to possess extraordinary insight into the flow of time, their visions offering tantalizing glimpses of events yet to unfold. One such figure is Michel de Nostradam, better known as Nostradamus, a 16th century French astrologer, physician, and reputed seer. His cryptic prophecies continue to fascinate and confound, gaining renewed attention when they seem to mirror real-world occurrences. One such instance unfolded in Ishikawa, Japan, where a devastating magnitude 7.5 earthquake caused widespread destruction and tragically claimed 55 lives. Chillingly, Nostradamus penned a warning about such a quake centuries earlier. This event justifies the enduring curiosity and debate surrounding his work, raising the question, are these mere coincidences or glimpses of true precognition? Even more unsettling is a specific prediction found in Nostradamus's 1555 work, Les Prophéties. He describes a massive earthquake occurring off the coast of Japan in 2024, resulting in a destructive tsunami capable of widespread devastation. Nostradamus also foretells a very great famine through pestiferous waves. Could this allude to the tsunami's catastrophic effects on agriculture and food supplies? And you won't believe what he predicted for the year 2024. These events might unfold as early as April 2024, who knows? But in order to better grasp the origins of Nostradamus's enigmatic visions, we must look back upon his remarkable life and the unique circumstances that shaped it. Born in December, of 1503. As Michel de Nostradam in Saint-Rémy-de-Provence, France, he was one of nine children in a relatively affluent family. His early education provided a strong grounding in Latin, Greek, Hebrew, mathematics, and the principles of astrology, thanks to the influence of his maternal grandfather. This foundation and an inherited interest in Jewish mysticism would lay the groundwork for his later fascination with prophecy. Sadly, the young Nostradamus faced a major setback when he was forced to abandon his medical studies at the University of Avignon after an outbreak of the bubonic plague. This disruption, however, became a catalyst for a different journey. He spent years traveling the French countryside, seeking out herbal remedies and gaining practical experience as an apothecary. This exposure to the healing arts and natural sciences undoubtedly informed his worldview. During this period of exploration, Nostradamus delved deeper into the realms of astrology and the occult. He reportedly began experiencing visions, an ability he claimed was inherited from his ancestors. Motivated, he devoted himself to producing almanacs that combined astrological predictions with weather forecasts and other practical information. This proved to be a popular venture, enhancing his reputation within the community. However, as Nostradamus's fame grew, it inevitably brought scrutiny. Some questioned the source of his prophetic abilities and his adherence to Catholic orthodoxy in a time of religious tension. To avoid accusations of heresy, Nostradamus ingeniously developed the technique of writing his prophecies in coded quatrains four-line poems. This use of obscure symbolism and multiple languages served to protect him from overly literal interpretations by religious authorities who might disapprove of his work. 
Nostradamus' major work, Les Prophéties, is a collection of such quatrains. The book offers a series of enigmatic predictions spanning centuries, with allusions to wars, natural disasters, political upheavals, and the rise and fall of empires. Their ambiguity has, ironically, become a key factor in their longevity as people through the ages have sought connections between historical events and the elusive verses. His legacy is as complex and mysterious as the man himself. Skeptics dismiss his work as either lucky coincidences or deliberate fabrications cleverly obscured to invite multiple contradictory interpretations. Believers, however, see his writings as proof of genuine foresight, a testament to a unique power to perceive the threads of time. Whether his prophecies were born from true prescience, deep anxieties of his era, or a blend of both, the unsettling parallels with events like the Ishikawa earthquake continue to raise questions about the limits of human knowledge and the potential for individuals to glimpse fleeting fragments of the future. Medical career. Michel de Nostradamus, or Nostradamus as he's more widely known, lived during the tumultuous 16th century, a time rife with disease and a fascination with the mystical. Before gaining renown for his enigmatic prophecies, his path was that of a healer, desperately combating the ever-present scourge of the bubonic plague. Nostradamus's early medical work included serving as an apothecary, where he gained practical knowledge of herbs and remedies. This experience would prove invaluable in a world where the plague ravaged communities with alarming regularity. In 1522, he sought to formalize his knowledge, entering the prestigious University of Montpellier to pursue his doctorate in medicine. Here, his willingness to challenge entrenched medical dogmas of the time put him at odds with the largely Catholic faculty, who took a dim view of his interest in astrology. While reports are mixed, it's said his background as an apothecary, then considered a mere trade, was used against him, leading either to his expulsion or his voluntary withdrawal to avoid such a fate. Nonetheless, by 1525, he had his medical license, having adopted the Latinized Nostradamus, as was customary for academics. Over the next several years, Nostradamus dedicated himself to the relentless battle against the plague. The times offered no easy answers. Most physicians relied on crude procedures like bloodletting, questionable mercury-based concoctions, and bizarre practices like rubbing patients in garlic. In contrast, Nostradamus promoted surprisingly progressive methods. He emphasized hygiene, insisted on removing corpses from the streets, and even developed a rudimentary vitamin C supplement derived from rose hips. These measures, while unable to eliminate the threat, had a demonstrable impact on the survival rates of his patients. His success fighting the plague brought him a degree of local fame and garnered the financial support of Provence's citizenry. Even the eminent scholar Jules César Scaliger invited him to collaborate with him in Argen in 1531. Nostradamus settled down, married, and soon became a father. Tragically, this happiness was short-lived. In 1534, while away on medical duties in Italy, his wife and children succumbed to the plague, a devastating loss that shook his faith and distanced him from his patron, Scaliger. Despite personal hardship, Nostradamus continued his medical work, but his experiences battling the plague had an unexpected consequence. They ignited a fascination with the unseen forces shaping human destiny. He began to experience visions he felt were prophetic in nature. He began publishing yearly almanacs with predictions alongside astrological forecasts and useful information in 1550, spurred on by these visions. This blending of the mundane with the mystical proved immensely popular. Yet, as his fame as a seer grew, his past as a healer began to fade from memory. His writings transformed into the cryptic quatrains collected in his landmark work, Les Prophéties. In these verses, he paints a picture of a future filled with war, 
natural disasters, and great societal upheavals. But the ambiguity of his predictions is precisely what allowed them to endure. Whether his prophecies are truly glimpses into the future or simply reflections of the fears and uncertainties of his own time remains a tantalizing mystery. Some point to supposed correlations between his quatrains and events like the French Revolution, the rise of Napoleon and Hitler, and even the 9-11 attacks, arguing these are proof of his predictive powers. Others see merely vague passages, subject to flexible interpretations after the fact. Nostradamus' journey from plague doctor to prophet is a testament to both the horrors and the enduring spirit of the human experience. He lived in a world grappling with forces beyond easy comprehension, disease, superstition, and the mysteries of time itself. The echoes of his fight against a relentless plague still linger in the enigmatic verses he left behind, open to interpretation by curious minds for centuries to come. Prophecies By the year 1554, Nostradamus's prophetic visions had become inseparable from his popular almanacs. Fueled by a profound belief in these premonitions, he resolved to embark on a far more ambitious project, a multi-volume work titled Centuries. This grand undertaking envisioned ten volumes, each holding 100 quatrains, four-line verses, that foretold events spanning two millennia. His most famous release, 1555's Les Prophéties, presented a sample of this vast prophetic tapestry. Written in his characteristically cryptic style, Nostradamus painted a future filled with upheaval, natural disasters, wars, and the rise and fall of great powers. He intentionally obscured specific places and dates, leaving the interpretations wide open. It's this ambiguity that fuels the enduring debate over the accuracy of his work. Some fervently believe Nostradamus accurately predicted historical milestones like the death of King Henry II of France, the French Revolution, the rise of Napoleon and Hitler, and even the attacks on 9-11. Skeptics counter that the vague language and focus on events commonplace throughout history make it easy to find coincidental connections. They suggest his writings only seem to gain foresight retroactively, with people projecting the desired meaning onto the words after a significant event has already taken place. Yet, whether by coincidence or genuine foresight, Le Prophétie and the idea of the unfinished centuries solidified Nostradamus's fame within his own lifetime. His work found an eager audience, sparking countless attempts to decipher messages hidden within the quatrains. So, why were the remaining centuries never completed? His duties as a physician, societal upheaval, and potential pressure from religious authorities likely played a role. Critics accused him of blasphemy and dabbling in the occult, a dangerous stance in that era. Despite never realizing the full scope of his vast prophetic project, the impact of Nostradamus' work cannot be denied. His enigmatic verses have been puzzled over for centuries, whether viewed as poetic descriptions of historical anxieties or uncanny glimpses into the future, the debate surrounding Nostradamus is a monument to humanity's enduring fascination with the potential to see beyond the veil of present time. What has happened so far? One of the most widely cited fulfilled prophecies attributed to Nostradamus concerns the Great Fire of London. In 1666, a fire ravaged the city, causing devastation and widespread death. Some connect this event to the following quatrain from Nostradamus, the blood of the just will be demanded of London. Burnt by the fire in the year 66, the ancient lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. Those who see a prediction in his words interpret the blood of the fire's victims. The year referenced and the ancient lady metaphor are seen as pointing toward London. Additionally, the final line is thought to represent the religious conflicts that arose in the fire's aftermath. Nostradamus's quatrains are famously vague and open to immense interpretation. 
Many believe his writings can only be connected to events retroactively. However, the striking similarities between the quatrain and the disaster leave room for intriguing speculation. Whether it's a true prophecy or the power of fitting words to events after they happen, the enduring connection between Nostradamus and the Great Fire continues to fascinate. The enduring legacy of Nostradamus lies in the chilling possibility that his cryptic writings foretold some of history's most catastrophic events. One chilling example connects his work to the devastation of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Nostradamus wrote of scourges, the likes of which were never seen. This grim phrase eerily echoes the unprecedented horrors of the atomic bombings in Japan. The devastation, lingering radiation sickness, and countless deaths align tragically with the image he paints. His mention of a stone in the tree sparks multiple interpretations. Some see the bomb itself, an object of destruction paradoxically appearing in the sky. Others envision the iconic mushroom cloud, a haunting symbol of the attacks. The quatrain turns darker, hinting at famine within the plague. This could mirror the lasting effects of radiation and the wider desolation of war. Nostradamus's people, put out by steel, might even allude to the aircraft that carried the terrible weapons. Of course, Nostradamus lived in a time when the actual plague was raging. It's possible he was simply describing the familiar horrors of disease. Whether his words were truly prophetic or merely reflect the universal tragedies of his time remains a source of endless debate. A Year of Omens The enigmatic writings of Nostradamus continue to fascinate and frighten in equal measure. 2024 has begun with enough global instability to make his prophecies seem unsettlingly relevant. Could some of his predictions for this year come true? One eerily familiar prophecy speaks of a planet in crisis. The dry earth will grow more parched, and there will be great floods when it is seen. This resonates chillingly with the realities of climate change. Scientists warn of increasing droughts in some regions, mirrored by catastrophic flooding elsewhere. The frequency and intensity of hurricanes, typhoons, and extreme rainfall events align tragically with Nostradamus's grim vision. In this context, his words feel less like a mystical prophecy and more like a desperate plea for action. He paints a stark picture of a world where the fundamental elements of survival are disrupted, potentially fueling devastating floods and mass displacement. Is this a call for urgent measures to reduce emissions and mitigate the worst effects of our changing climate? But the troubling omens don't end there. Nostradamus writes, No abbots, monks, no novices to learn. Honey costs far more than candle wax. So high the price of wheat that man is stirred. His fellow man to eat in his despair. This bleak passage might hint at several converging crises. Economic collapse in once wealthy nations is one possibility. The soaring cost of living, with basic necessities like food becoming out of reach, has the potential to spark social unrest and desperation. Nostradamus's mention of people turning to farming and migrating in search of water further amplifies the sense of a world breaking down. Could this be a prediction of mass displacement due to environmental disasters or economic collapse? Resource scarcity, especially water, could push nations into conflict. Another chilling possibility foreshadowed in his work. A note of caution is essential. It's easy to project current anxieties onto the cryptic verses of Nostradamus. His writings are notoriously ambiguous, most likely as a result of the horrors of his own plague-ridden era. Yet, even the most hardened skeptic must acknowledge Putin. Nostradamus, renowned for his prophetic verses, purportedly foretells a tumultuous year ahead for Russian President Vladimir Putin. According to his prophecy, Vladimir's health will come under threat, setting the stage for a challenging period. However, as with many of Nostradamus's predictions, the details remain ambiguous, leaving room for interpretation regarding the exact nature and severity of the health issues Vladimir Putin may face. 
Furthermore, the prophecy hints at the emergence of a diabolical successor born under the same Chinese zodiac sign as Vladimir. This successor, described as a close confidant of the Russian leader, is predicted to exploit the situation, attempting to seize power both domestically and on the international stage. The resulting power struggle could lead to a destabilizing environment, impacting the nation and its global relations. It's important to approach such prophecies with caution, recognizing the inherent uncertainty and the potential for misinterpretation. Nostradamus's cryptic style often leaves room for various interpretations and the specifics of timing and events remain elusive. Nonetheless, the prophecy serves as a reminder of the uncertainties that lie ahead and the potential for unexpected developments in the political landscape. Aliens are coming. Nostradamus, the enigmatic seer of centuries past, has purportedly foreseen unsettling changes looming over the global economy in the year 2024. His prophetic verses suggest a seismic shift in the balance of wealth and power, casting doubt on established leadership and sparking uncertainty in currency values. As the world grapples with these upheavals, a new trend emerges, heralding unfamiliar horizons and a quest for stability amid the tumult. Central to Nostradamus's prophecy is the rise of India as a crucial player in reshaping the geopolitical and financial landscape. This prediction resonates with India's burgeoning economic influence and its potential to wield significant sway on the world stage. With its vast and diverse economy, rapidly expanding population and strategic significance, India stands poised to assert itself as a major force in shaping global economic trends and policies. Several factors contribute to India's potential ascendancy on the world economic stage in 2024. Foremost among these is the country's demographic dividend, characterized by a youthful and dynamic population primed to drive economic growth and innovation. India's ongoing economic reforms, coupled with substantial investments in infrastructure and digital technologies, further bolster its standing as a key player in the global economy. Yet, amidst the geopolitical and economic upheavals, Nostradamus's prophecies veer into even more mysterious territory, hinting at the possibility of extraterrestrial civilization. Within his cryptic quatrains and writings, Allusions to encounters with beings from other planets or dimensions spark speculation and debate among interpreters. While not explicitly mentioning extraterrestrial life, certain passages such as Century 2, Quatrain 30, evoke imagery of cosmic upheaval and distant encounters beyond the realm of Earth. Interpreting Nostradamus's prophecies requires a delicate balance of discernment and imagination. While some may dismiss these as mere flights of fancy, others find tantalizing parallels between his cryptic verses and contemporary events. The references to a great pontiff and people being far away from Rome in Century II, Quatrain 30, for instance, have led some to speculate about symbolic descriptions of otherworldly encounters or cosmic phenomena. Amidst the speculation, two significant quotes attributed to Nostradamus have captured the imagination of scholars and enthusiasts alike. One speaks of a naval year, hinting at maritime conflicts or disruptions, while the other cryptically mentions the King of the Isles, prompting speculation about geopolitical shifts in island nations. These quotes, along with Nostradamus's broader body of work, continue to fuel curiosity and intrigue as humanity grapples with the uncertainties of the future. The Naval Year Nostradamus purportedly envisioned a tumultuous year on the seas in 2024, with his cryptic verse describing red adversaries growing pale with fear and instilling dread in the vast expanse of the ocean. This enigmatic quote has sparked speculation particularly regarding its potential connection to a looming conflict, with some interpreting it as a forewarning of a possible Chinese attack on Taiwan. The association with red adversaries aligns symbolically with China, whose flag bears the color red, 
amidst escalating tensions in the region. Such predictions raise concerns about the specter of military confrontations and their ramifications for global stability. In another intriguing prophecy, Nostradamus alludes to the fate of the King of the Isles, suggesting a brief reign and the subsequent anointment of a new monarch who will bring prolonged peace to the region. Many interpret this reference as alluding to King Charles III, fueling anticipation of potential challenges to his reign, particularly in light of his controversial relationship with Camilla and the shadow of Princess Diana's legacy. Beyond geopolitical and royal matters, Nostradamus's prophetic gaze extends to Pope Francis, the spiritual leader of the Catholic faithful. His cryptic verses hint at the possibility of a successor to the current pontiff, yet remain devoid of specific details regarding timing, circumstances, or implications. Nonetheless, the mention of Pope Francis adds a layer of intrigue, inviting speculation into the future of religious leadership within the Catholic Church. Delving deeper into the pontiff's prophecy, Nostradamus foretells the passing of an elderly pope, paving the way for the election of a younger successor. This succession, while ushering in a new era, also hints at a potential reduction in the church's power, signaling a period of decline. Such predictions resonate with the curiosity surrounding St. Malachy's prophecy of the last pope, stirring contemplation about the future trajectory of the Catholic Church and the broader implications for religious governance. Nostradamus's prophetic verses, shrouded in mystery and symbolism, continue to captivate the imaginations of scholars and enthusiasts alike. Conclusion Despite enduring criticism for his prognostications, Nostradamus remained resolute in his convictions, steadfastly pursuing what he deemed to be the truth. His legacy, forged over centuries, continues to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike. Following his passing in 1566, his cryptic verses endure, challenging readers to unravel their enigmatic meanings and unlock glimpses of the future. Deciphering Nostradamus's writings presents a formidable task, with interpretations ranging widely and sparking fervent debates among scholars and believers alike. While some hail him as a visionary, others dismiss his predictions as fanciful creations of the imagination. The question of belief in Nostradamus's prophecies remains deeply personal, with some embracing them as prophetic insights and others remaining skeptical, attributing any similarities to historical events as mere coincidence. Ultimately, time's passage obscures the accuracy of Nostradamus's predictions. Whether his prophecies come to fruition in the present year or in years to come remains uncertain. Nevertheless, by scrutinizing past events in comparison to his predictions, we may glean deeper insights into the man and his work. Nostradamus's prophetic verses challenge us to unravel their hidden meanings, offering glimpses into a future fraught with the demise of notable figures and the specter of natural and man-made calamities. These prophecies have long captivated and unsettled humanity, igniting impassioned debates and evoking a potent blend of hope and trepidation. Understanding the essence of Nostradamus's mystical visions allows us to peer into the murky depths of what lies ahead, guiding us through life's labyrinthine complexities. His predictions persistently echo through the annals of time, reminding us of the enigma that binds the past, present, and enigmatic future. The recent earthquake in Ishikawa, Japan, serves as a sobering testament to the prescient insight of this extraordinary French astrologer. Yet, beyond this revelation, there lingers an air of anticipation, hinting at secrets yet uncovered. Brace yourselves for revelations that may reverberate deeply within the collective consciousness of our beloved planet. Remain ever curious and open-minded because the uncovered knowledge might just reshape our understanding of time, destiny, and the very fabric of our existence. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we eagerly anticipate exploring the mysteries that lie ahead in our next one. If you like this video and eagerly want more, hit the like and subscribe buttons 
And don't forget to leave us a comment on what you think about the Nostradamus prophecies.